Grace Posse, welcome back to the Daily Devotion. Hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to be talking about a kingdom man obeys in faith. Saren Kierkegaard, in concluding unscientific postscript, said this, For without risk there is no faith, and the greater the risk, the greater the faith. One time, when I was in seminary, my car started making a, a lot of noise. All I had left for the month was $50, our tithe. Was I going to trust God's word and let my actions reflect my faith? Or would I keep the money and fix the car? My $50 went into the offering plate. A couple days later, smoke started pouring out from under the hood. After I pulled over, the smoke turned into flames and the front of my car burned up. I had honored God according to how he had instructed me in his word, and this was how he came through. At the repair shop, I rushed over and told the mechanic to stop working. I didn't have the money for the deductible. That's when he pointed out the fine print in my insurance policy. I didn't have to pay the deductible if my car caught fire. God had waited until I had given him what I had, what he had asked of me, my $50, before meeting my need as he had promised. Men, God has given us a sphere of influence in which to align our choices and decisions in such a way as to impact others. But often he will wait to see what we do before revealing what he does. Because without faith it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Hebrews 11.6 Which brings us to today's application questions. Number one, what step of obedience are you wrestling with? Number two, what direction does God's word give you? And number three, what's your decision? Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, give me the courage to obey and to trust you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys, and I'll see you next time.